Hi, Pamela. I'm looking over your uh, last two quizzes, and this is the one, 5.1, 5.3. The first question that you had a partial miss on uh, was this question um, about a survey, and you got two parts of it right, so I'm thinking you understand. I don't really know off the top of my head and uh, how you got point three three seven two for an answer. Um, let's look for a second. I've got this, um, let me ignore that for right now, this spreadsheet that I built, uh, and I think I shared it with the class, or one like it, and uh, all you have to do for these normal probability problems is input the mean and standard deviation for your population. And one thing I, I would mention, uh, in some problems it's not clear if you're talking about a population or sample. And um, in this case they say they had a survey of men and then you took a uh, participant randomly from that. So you had to kind of switch your thinking around and we're going to use this group of people that were surveyed as a population for the purposes of uh, calculating the, uh, to, of standardizing the, the uh, values there. Um, we put in the mean of that little group and standard deviation and then I put in the two values uh, that the problem was asking about, uh, a lower value of 66 and an upper value of 71. And this spreadsheet calculates the z-values using the standardized function. And um, then using this the norm distribution function, we can calculate the area under the curve uh, to the left of these values of z. The one you missed uh, should have been 0 0.2420 and again I uh, don't know what you keyed in wrong. I'm guessing maybe you just keyed in a wrong number because you got the other two values correctly. The value of less than 71 uh, the probability or the area under the curve between 66 and 71 um, is just the difference of these two values. And I use the absolute formula um, in case you're, you're dealing with negative numbers there. But that is the uh, probability of getting between 66 and 71, which is also the area. And then the final one, the probability of greater than 71, is just 1 minus the probability of less than or equal to 71. So you did that one pretty well. On this next problem you missed, I think it, it just was the logic. And um, perhaps you would, you would do better if, if you could take the time to sketch the normal curve. And uh, the tricky thing here is the way they write these, these uh, questions. It's the probability of z being less than or to the left of minus 0.76 or z being greater than 0.76 to the right of. So you're in those two tails. What you calculated is the um, area between point, minus 0 0.76 and plus 0 0.76. Let's look at that Excel spreadsheet um, again. I've just modified it a bit to allow me to put in just the uh, the z values we were given of minus 0 0.76 plus 0 0.76, and you can use the norm s norm dot s dot dis function when you just are given the z value, and I use that same equation there as you can see for the uh, plus and that gives you the value l left less than minus 0 0.76 and then from left infinity to plus 0 0.76 gives you those two values if you subtract those two values that gives you the area 
between them of 0.5527, and that's what you came up with. And then, but we need the tails, and so we just subtract that from 1. 1 minus G14, 1 minus 0.5528 gives me 0.4473. On number 9, I think you just made a typo. You entered 2.2, 2.2 instead of 2.02. So uh, I'm giving you essentially all credit for that. Oh, heck. I'll give it 0.99. How about that? Because it's just a dum dum, I think. Um, which I make all the time. The last question, question 10, let's look at it. And again, you you got the, um, it appears to be that you got the, the wrong part of the curve. Let me bring up the Excel here. Here's that Excel spreadsheet that I, I built again. And I just put in the values of minus 1.61 and plus 0.85. This time they gave you the sketch and they show you you want the area between, not the area in the tails. And I think, uh, again, the answer what should be the area between 0.7486 and not the area in the tails 2.514. And yeah, see, so you, you uh, essentially gave them uh, the... Uh, the area in the tails and I'm guessing that there's a, just a little bit of difference in the technology you use to calculate that area uh, 2. 0.2653 is not that far different from 0.2514 that I, I get uh, which gives you the exact answer that they're they're looking for there so I hope this helps